in this video, I'm going to model and solve multiplication equations. So by now, you know what we're trying to do is get the variable by itself. And with multiplication, multiplication and division are inverse operations, which means that they undo each other. So today, we're looking at multiplication, so we're going to undo it with division. And um, so we're going to go through the same steps. We're trying to get the variable by itself. We're going to undo the operation with division. And then whatever you do to one side, you're going to do to the other. So here we have 3B. And I think that it's a little weird the way that um, these are modeled. So we have three. Well, I'm just going to draw it in. 3B, so three of the variables, and equals nine positives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? That's how you represent it visually with the model. So you say, okay, split up evenly. How would these go into the um, bars? So this three would go to this bar. And this three would go to this bar, and this three would go to this bar. Okay, so how many do you have going to each bar? You have three. Three positive. Okay, now let's look at it mathematically. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so the opposite of multiplication is division. I'm going to divide by three. Because dividing by 3, 3 divided by 3 gives me 1, so 1B. One so whatever I do to this side, I have to do to this side. So that gives me B equals 3, okay? And so B equals 3, and that's what I showed. So to get B by itself, you divide. You divide by the number that's with the B. And what you do to one side, you do to the other, and you get what B is equal to. So let's look at this one. I have 2X. X. And X. And I have, I don't know if this is going to show up. Yeah. 6 negative. Now I kind of line this up to show you that three negatives are going to go into each of these. Three negatives. So this goes into this and this goes into this. So x equals negative three. And that's how you show it with the model. Um, if I'm going to do it mathematically, I've got two x here. I want to get x by itself. And I am multiplying here, 2 times x, so the opposite of multiplying is dividing. I'm going to divide by 2 because that cancels out to 1. That cancels out. That's why I picked 2. It's why I didn't pick 3 or 5 or 10. I picked 2 because it'll cancel out. And whatever I do to this side, I do to this side. So x equals negative 3. And that's what I've shown here. x equals negative 3. Now the last one is um, a little bit more complicated. So I have a negative 3x. So I've got three x's that are negative. And that's why they're red. And I've got three positive. So one's going to go into each one. Now that red means it's the opposite of. It's the opposite of the positive, so it's going to be negative. Now, I think that this works better if you do it mathematically. And you have to remember, if it's a negative 3x, you've got to divide by negative 3. Divide by negative 3. 
Very important, because otherwise you have negative x as part of your answer, and you can't have negative x, you have to have x. So these cancel out, and so x equals negative 1. And that's what I've shown here. It's a positive going over here, but because this is red, this is x, it's negative. So x equals negative 1. And if you do, if you put it back in and check it, negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. That works. So always put back in your answer solution to check it and make sure it makes sense. Because that will let you know if your signs are off or not. So um, you're going to see these in word problems. Juan rented ice skates for H hours. The rental fee was $2 per hour, T-U-H, $2 per hour, and he paid a total of $8. So the total always goes after the equal sign. Write and solve an equation to determine how many hours he skated. Well, so you're saying 2 times what equals 8. And to do it mathematically, you would divide by 2, divide by 2, and you've probably already done this in your head, H equals 4. And put it back in, 2 times 4 equals $8, dollars Two, $2 per hour times 4 hours. Um, so uh, that, that is how to write an equation and solve it from a word problem. So here's some problems for you to do in Google Forms, and then you'll be working on your classwork.